Ryan Dunkel here. We are at Flores. This place is freaking awesome. Just wait until you see. This is the building. This is the building. This is my third time here now, all from the school project. And it is so cool. So here we go. Let's go inside. Let's take a look here. I already got some empanadas ordered. My brother's in there waiting for me. We're going to tear this place up. You can see on the outside, it's kind of hidden. You would, you would walk right by it if you didn't know it was here and not even realize. Um, I really like the inside and how they did the inside. Just kind of show you. For instance, here the uh, everything in here is handmade by the owner's husband. He's an artist. He also did these paintings on the wall. They are for sale, I believe. But you can see these tables are super cool, and uh, it's like a drum and a piece of glass on it. And it's a usable drum. You can take the glass off, he said, and you can actually play the drum. It came from his father's. Um, his father used to play the drum, he said, and it kind of gave him a cool idea to do this. And the chairs he said he just threw in there are nothing special. But um, inside here you can see. What's up, Colton? How you doing? Okay. Okay. And there's the kitchen. Down here is like a little more formal dining room area. A little more risque. You know, for you uh, couples, darlings, etc. And let's go in and say hi to Flora. She's the owner. Let's peek on in here. Hi, Flora. Say hello. Hi. How are you? Good. You're doing your work. Well, I just want to come in, say hello, and uh, show the kitchen area a little bit. Okay. Okay. We'll talk later. Don't All worry. Alright. See you later. Alright. Alright. Thank you so much. Kalia, right? Okay, she's bringing out the food. Oh, that's their food. Darn. Okay. So this is our appetizer. As you can see, this is the menu. It changes on a daily basis. So if you're Latin, this might look familiar. Colt, what did we just order here? You ordered it. What is it? Vegetarian empanadas. Vegetarian empanadas. Okay. And uh, what did you order for dinner? We got the Cuban sandwich. Cuban sandwich. Sweet. I asked the uh, owner to surprise me, so we should see what happens. Okay, inside of this is vegetables, obviously. And this is so good. The flavors, I mean, you can taste the broccoli. This sauce is just phenomenal. I don't even know what to begin to, like, I don't even know what to begin to describe it. But this is just phenomenal. Colt, what'd you say? Pretty good? Pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Yes. What did she surprise me with? What is this ball of joy? Papa. What is it? Relleno de papa. So Correo de papa? Relleno. Coreano. Relleno. Relleno. Yeah. Relleno de papa. Yeah, it's um, a potato okay. stuffed with lamb. Stuffed with lamb? Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is good. Potato <laughs> stuffed with lamb and some beans and rice. And you got the Cuban uh, corn cob, too. Yeah, wild corn. What is it? Wild cob. Wild cob. Wild cob. Cubans. All right, take a bite. Tell us what it tastes like. Give us some. Give us some uh, feedback here. Yes. Of your Cuban. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, wait, let me get a bite. Give me this. Give me this. I want a bite. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's really good. Really, really good. Just like a Cuban. Very excellent. So we're gonna try this. This lamb with potato. Mm. So awesome. All right, so I have Flora here. This is the owner of Flora's. Um, I wanted to ask her a few questions about the building here. Like, what's your theme that you're running with the food that you have? It would be a Latin fusion type of food. Okay. It would be, um, by Puerto Rico, Mexican, Italian, Indian, Brazil, us, the flavors that we enjoy, Asian. Oh really? Asian yeah. too? Oh wow, so just like a fusion of everything. Yeah, just a fusion of a lot of different things okay. that we enjoy eating and we kind of invent ways of putting it together. We think, hey, this would be great, let's do it. And then you know, like, we reconstruct things that are supposed to be put together and serve it like that. So it's now, the recipes, are they all original from you or are they your grandmother's or family well, tradition? Um, some are family tradition, some are 
kitchen. Some are just originated by me. I look at other people's recipes and I say, hmm, I don't do that, but I probably do it this way. Make it so that's kind of, well, I don't know if it's better, <laughs> um, but it's definitely something that we like to do. We like to just always push ourselves to the limit. Okay, and do you speak Spanish? Yes. Okay. And what, what got your passion into cooking? Um, I like food, I like pretty things, I like serving people most importantly, so I always, and, and like being Latina, our thing is having family over and friends and food, that kind of brings everybody together and it's always a festivity, like let's eat, let's, you know, have fun, let's talk, let me, and as soon as you walk into somebody's house, it's like, can I give you something to drink, you want some coffee, you want some bread, you want some cheese, they make rice, and they make, you know, whatever, but need whatever they make for you, and they feed you that, and then after that, they're giving you more food. Yeah. So you, and then you're leaving, and you're like, oh, take some with you. you know? Yeah, because so then you cook so much. It's, a, it's actually how, you know, that's our culture, that's how we do. Well, I appreciate it. Your food is phenomenal. This was awesome. He loved his food. This is our third time here, and everything has been phenomenal. So Thank you. keep I up really the good work. We it. love coming here. Yay. So this is Abner. This is the owner's uh, husband. Yes. Part owner. Right? Yes. Okay. So he actually did all this inside. The, from this table here to the table there to all the artwork, he did it all, correct? Correct. Okay. And then the tables, you mentioned before that that was, you got that from your father because he used to play yeah. the drum? Yeah, my father's a conga. So those are congas, Alpine Aspires. So that's where, the, that's where the table idea comes from. Yeah, it's awesome. I never saw anything like it, but it, I saw that instantly and I, I thought that was the coolest thing. And I had to tell you that last time, like, this is awesome. This table's so cool. Thank so. you. Thank you very much. Last but not least, a dessert. This is a, what is this, bread pudding? A bread pudding and coconut ice cream. So take a bite. Tell us what it tastes like. How is it? Where's my fork? I didn't get a fork. You had to keep it. What the hell? Well, I guess I'll just do this. How is it? Good. Pretty solid. All right, I can't wait to eat this. All right, so that is the experience of Flora's. You need to come down and check it out. If you don't, well, you're missing out because this is probably one of the best restaurants in Lancaster City. Colton, you said that yourself. What is it? Best restaurant in 100 mile radius. That's a, that's a pretty high statement, but I think he may be true. You have to come down and try it out for yourself and see what you think.